Hi all, welcome to the 6th lecture of Basic Mechanical Engineering and in the previous lecture we have discussed about the thermodynamic cycles and we discussed about the Carnot cycles and we derived the equation for uh, efficiency of a Carnot cycle and the second cycle usually used in thermodynamic processes are auto cycle so auto cycle is the ideal cycle and is a reversible side ideal reversible cycles and it is commonly used in all the spark ignition used drogating engines that means commonly used in uh, our cars um, and other vehicles okay the cycle is proposed by uh, nicolas a otto and in 1918-1976 and and which who built the successful four stroke engine first four stroke engine in 1976 and this cycle consists of four uh, reversible processes uh, like previous uh, Carnot cycle uh, this process also consists of four reversible process and they are isentropic compression process constant volume heat addition process and isentropic expansion process and also constant volume heat rejection process, process heat rejection process okay and uh, the process completes in uh, four this cycle completes in four processes okay so here the heat is added and rejected at a constant volumes okay and the compression and expansion of the air takes place uh, isentropically that means reversible adiabatically okay so uh, this is the pressure volume and temperature uh, entropy gra gas actually a graph for a auto for an auto cycle okay in this uh, heat is added to the system at the constant volume and the heat is rejected from the system at a constant volume okay and um, there are also isentropic and uh, isentropic compression and isentropic expansion process so uh, the first process we going for the first process the process one to two which is known as isentropic compression process in this process uh, before, before the beginning of this process consider that there is a cylinder inside the cylinder filled with air and there is a piston the piston can move up and down okay and uh, because of this up and down movement the air inside the piston get compressed and expanded okay so before this beginning of the process the air is at a particular pressure temperature and volume okay inside this piston okay and an external work is done on the system uh, at this uh, process because of that the piston moves from 0.1 to 2 and the compressed air become uh, air compressed inside the cylinder because of this movement and volume decreases the temperature inside this uh, piston increases and also the pressure increases pressure also increases from 1 to 2 and this process is shown in the uh, PV diagram and the TS diagram as shown in figure in the TS diagram the temperature rises and temperature changes from T1 to T2 but the uh, entropy uh, becomes is constant because uh, it shows the straight line in a TS diagram in PV diagram or both the pressure and volume sorry uh, the pressure decreases and the sorry uh, the pressure increases and the volume decreases volume decreases from uh, V1 to V2 okay so this shows in the uh, in a curve 1 to 2 in PV diagram So the next process process 2 to 3 which is a constant volume heat addition process in this process the piston uh, becomes stationary and does not move and heat is added to the system from external source and which is uh, shown in figure here that is Q input okay and because of this heat addition what happened 2 to 3 uh, the temperature increases 
and it is shown in the figure T S diagram from 2 to 3 and during this process it is supplied to this compressed air at a constant volume by an external hot body okay till it reaches state 3 okay or till the temperature reaches from T2 to T3 and the heat input is named as Q in but the volume does not change during this process and V becomes constant and in PV diagram it is shown in figure 2 to 3 the volume becomes same and heat is added to the system and pressure increases from 2 to 3 P2 to P3 and this is represented by a vertical line 2 to 3 in PV diagram and a curve 2 to 3 in TS diagram the next process is isentropic expansion process or the process 3 to 4 is isentropic expansion process in which the air expand inside the cylinder isentropically or con with without change in the entropy of the system okay so here at state 3 hot body is removed and air is allowed to expand isentropically to state 4 here uh, the uh, the heat source outside is removed and air is uh, expanded freely inside the cylinder because of this expansion what happened the volume increases and the pressure decreases okay it is shown in the figure uh, pv diagram as 3 to 4 curve 3 to 4 this is isentropic expansion and when uh, that reaches uh, at state 4 this process stops and uh, the, it is represented in TS diagram as 3 to, 3 to 4. Okay. Here uh, the entropy remains constant and the temperature decreases from 3 to 4, T3 to, T3 to T4. Okay. And the last uh, process is a constant, a constant volume heat rejection process. Okay. For the process 4 to 1 is a constant volume heat rejection process. In this process, uh, the heat heat is rejected at constant volume to an external cold body till uh, state 1 is reached here heat inside the air is rejected to the outside at constant volume uh, per uh, the volume of the system remains constant which is shown or represented by vertical line 4 to 1 in the PV diagram here 4 to 1 in the PV diagram where heat is rejected from the system to the surrounding and it is termed as Q out okay and it is represented as curve uh, curve 3 4 to 1 uh, in the TS diagram okay where the volume of the system remains constant okay so these are the four uh, processes in an auto cycle there are two isentropic process and to constant volume process and heat is added and rejected from the system at a constant volume and expansion and compression of the system happened in isentropic isentropically okay so these are the four reversible adiabatic sorry four reversible process in an auto cycle next one efficiency of an auto cycle so how do we calculate the efficiency of an auto cycle? The efficiency of an uh, ideal cycle, gas cycle is uh, output by input. Or efficiency of an auto cycle is output by input. Then uh, which is equal to 1 minus Q output by Q input. Okay. Here uh, heat is added to the system from 2 to 3. And this added heat q input can be calculated by using this equation q input is equal to mcv dt because this heat addition is happened at constant volume and heat uh, added in constant volume process is equal to mcv dt this we already derived in the previous lesson which is equal to <coughs> mcv into t3 minus t2 
the temperature changes from 2 to T2 to T3. Okay. And Q input is equal to MCV into T3 minus T2. Similarly, like that, heat is rejected from the process, uh, rejected from the cycle from process 4 to 1. And heat rejected is equal to Q out is equal to MCV into T4 minus T1. And substitute these values in uh, the Vision's equation. We get eta auto is equal to 1 minus MCV T4 minus T1 divided by MCV into T3 minus T2. So consider the process 1 to 2. We know that it is a constant temperature, sorry, uh, constant entropy or isentropic process. And we already derived the equation T2 by T1 is equal to V1 by V2 always to gamma minus 1. Where gamma is the ratio of specific heats. And from this equation, we can say that or uh, consider that V1 by V2 is the compression ratio or V1 by V2 is uh, considered as the compression ratio or the cylinder is compressed from volume 1 to volume 2. Okay. And or this gas inside the cylinder is compressed from volume 1 to volume 2. Okay. So that that ratio is termed as compression ratio which is equal to which is represented as R. And because of this we can rename this uh, rewrite this equation as T2 is equal to T1 into R is to gamma minus 1. T2 is equal to T1 into R is to gamma minus 1. Okay. Like that consider the process 3 to 4 which is also a constant or uh, also an isentropic process and we can write it as T3 by T4 is equal to V4 by V3 all raised to gamma minus 1 where gamma is the ratio of specific heats and we can rewrite this equation as T3 equal to T4 R raised to gamma minus 1. Since we find out the values of T3 and T2 in terms of T4 and T1 in terms of T4 and T1 substitute these values in this equation or in this efficiency equation but you will get eta auto is equal to 1 minus T4 minus T1 divided by T4 R is to gamma minus 1 minus T1 R is to gamma minus 1 here R is to gamma minus is common so take it outside what happened uh, eta auto is equal to 1 minus T4 minus T1 divided by R is to gamma minus 1 into T4 minus T1. Cancel out the common terms T4 minus T1. We will get the efficiency of the auto cycle as eta auto is equal to 1 minus 1 by R is to gamma minus 1. So this equation is the efficiency of an auto cycle. And from this equation we can see that the efficiency of an auto cycle depends upon the uh, um, compression ratio and ratio specific heats. Okay. So thermal efficiency is a function of compression ratio uh, R and the spe ratio specific heats gamma. Efficiency will be more for gas having higher value of gamma. Uh, whenever this gamma value increases, the efficiency of the system also increases. Okay. And the compression ratio increases because increase in thermal efficiency. Also, when the compression ratio of the system increases, it, will, uh, it increases the thermal efficiency. So, the third cycle generally used uh, in thermodynamic process is a diesel cycle. So, diesel cycle is the common cycle uh, when every diesel engines work. All the diesel powered vehicles are worked on the principle of diesel cycle. In this cycle uh, is an air standard cycle and it is a it consists of four reversible process uh, like the previous uh, cycles. This cycle also consists of four reversible process and uh, that uh, heat added to the system and rejected from the system 
and similarly expansion and compression uh, also taking place on the air. Heat addition takes place at constant pressure in this process and heat is rejected uh, at a constant volume and the expansion and compression of air takes place isentropically. Okay, that means uh, reversible adiab adiabatically. Isentropically means uh, reversible adiabatically. The pressure volume and uh, that means PV diagram and temperature entropy diagram as shown here and in this figure we can see that 1 to 2 is an isentropic process and uh, 2 to 3 is a constant pressure heat addition process and 3 to 4 is also an isentropic process and 4 to 1 uh, is a constant volume heat rejection process okay and that temperature entropy diagram is shown here it is a straight line consists of four straight lines so uh, we can look into the more details of the processes uh, so from state 1 to 2 uh, we already said that is an isentropic compression process in which the given gas uh, that given gas inside the cylinder is compressed uh, isentropically or reversible adiabatically so we consider a cylinder which contains m, m kilogram of air and uh, let p1 v1 and temperature t1 be the pressure volume and temperature of air inside the cylinder and that at the beginning of the cycle that means it's state one when the process starts the air is compressed isentropically to state two that means air is compressed from state 1 to state 2 and uh, by you by using external work okay so work is done on to the system and the pv diagram uh, shows a curve on the uh, 1 to 2 is a curve on the pv diagram and a straight line that means uh, horizontal sorry vertical straight line in the uh, ts diagram because entropy is same okay So in the next process that means 2 to 3 it is a constant pressure heat addition process in in this in this process uh, thus yet heat is supplied into the system or the cylinder by an external source that means heat is supplied at constant pressure from an external hot body uh, till the state 3 is reached heat is added from heat uh, state 2 till state 3 is uh, reached okay so it is a constant pressure process in which the pressure of the system uh, remains constant okay and the line uh, 2 3 on the PV diagram and the line 2 3 on the uh, TS diagram as shown here and the PV pressure volume and temperature entropy diagrams okay so um, in the next process that means state to 3 to 4 at the state 3 the hot body which is in uh, contact with the cylinder is removed and the air is allowed to expand isentropically okay air is uh, allowed to expand isentropically uh, till the state 4 is reached okay by using external work okay so this curve is shown in pv diagram as a curve uh, that means 3 to 4 is an isentropic uh, expansion process and it is shown here as a curve and in ts diagram 3 to 4 is shown and uh, shown as a horizontal line uh, sorry vertical line from 3 to 4 because the entropy of the system remains constant okay let's move on to the uh, next process that means state to 4 to 1 it is a constant volume heat rejection process in which a heat is rejected from the uh, system to the surroundings at the constant volume that means volume of the system or the uh, or, this, or that system remains constant and heat is rejected at constant volume to an external cold body till state 1 is reached this process is represented by a vertical line 4 to 1 in the pv diagram and a line in the ts diagram and a straight line in the ts diagram and a vertical line in the uh, pressure volume diagram in which heat is rejected to the surrounding at the constant volume so let us consider how to find out the efficiency of a diesel cycle 
okay so we can uh, we can know that deficiency is calculated by using this equation eta is equal to 1 minus heat rejected divided by heat supplied however uh, in this uh, cycle the heat is supplied uh, during constant pressure process that means the heat is supplied at a constant pressure uh, during 2 to 3 so uh, heat is so the supplied heat is equal to mcp into t3 minus t2 okay uh, similarly heat rejected through uh, to the surroundings uh, at a constant volume so that uh, heat rejected is equal to mcv into t4 minus t1 substitute the value of heat rejected and heat supplied in this equation of efficiency we get to 1 minus mcv into t4 minus t1 divided by mcp into t3 minus t2 so cancel the masses we get to 1 minus Cv by Cp, Cv by Cp into T4 minus T1 by T3 minus T2. Uh, we know that Cp by Cv is equal to gamma, which is the uh, ratio of specific heaps. And 1 minus 1 by gamma into T4 minus T1 divided by T3 minus T2. Let us consider that, let us consider that V3 by V2 be the cutoff ratio and it is represented as rho and v4 by v3 be the expansion ratio and represented as r1 and also v1 by v2 be the uh, compression ratio and it is represented as r here v1 by v2 v3 by uh, sorry v3 by v2 and v4 by v3 okay uh, see that these are the uh, volume changes during this process and represent this rho r1 and r, r respectively so the relation between those three ratios will be uh, we, we can write v4 by v3 equal to v4 by v2 multiplied by v2 by v3 okay uh, we can write it like this because v2 and v2 cancel this up and we will get v4 by v3 and also v4 by v2 from this figure v4 by v2 is equal to v1 by v2 because v4 and v1 are same so v1 by v2 multiplied by v2 by v3 and uh, here v4 by v3 is equal to v4 by v3 is r1 and v1 by v2 is r and v3 by sorry v2 by v3 is 1 by rho so we'll get r1 is equal to r into 1 by rho which is equal to r by rho so r1 can be written as r by rho so consider the process 1 to 2 we can say that t2 by t1 is equal to v1 by v2 in all raised to gamma minus 1 because uh, 1 to 2 is an adiabatic process and for an adiabatic process t2 by t1 will be equal to v1 by v2 all raised to gamma minus 1 okay and from this we can write t2 is equal to t1 into v1 by v2 all raised to gamma minus 1 okay so t2 is equal to t1 into v1 by v2 all raised to gamma minus 1 v1 is equal to r and substitute it as r t1 into r into gamma minus 1 r is to gamma minus 1 okay uh, consider that as equation number 2 and this is equation number 1 okay So for the second process, the first constant uh, pressure process 2 to 3, uh, we can say uh, see that T3 by T2 is equal to V3 by V2 equal to rho. So for a constant pressure, pressure process, T3 by T2 equal to V3 by V2 and V3 by V2 will be equal to rho. So T3 is equal to T2 into rho and substitute the value of T2 from equation 2. T2 is equal to T1 R is to gamma minus 1. So T1 R is to gamma minus 1 into rho and name it as equation 3. And for the adiabatic process 3 to 4, we can write as T3 by T4 is equal to V4 by V3 all raised to gamma minus 1 which is equal to R1. V4 by V3 is equal to R1 and R1 is to gamma minus 1. R1 is to gamma minus 1. Okay. So uh, here uh, we can write R1 is equal to R by rho and so that uh, it is the equation become r by rho is equal to r by rho all raised to gamma minus 1 and 
that is equal to r raised to gamma minus 1 divided by rho raised to gamma minus 1. Then T4 is equal to T3 into rho raised to gamma minus 1 and r raised to gamma minus 1. Okay. So substitute the value of T3 from equation 3. T3, here T3 is equal to T1 r raised to gamma minus 1 into rho. So substitute the value of T3 here. We get T4 is equal to T1 r raised to gamma minus 1 into rho into rho raised to gamma minus 1 divided by rho r raised to gamma minus 1 and uh, is equal to t4 is equal to t1 rho raised to gamma because this uh, r is to gamma minus 1 and r is to gamma minus 1 cancels each other and also this rho is to rho and rho raised to gamma minus 1 cancels each other and we get the rho raised to gamma only so we will get to t4 is equal to t1 into rho raised to gamma and name it as equation 4 so that we know that efficiency is equal to 1 minus 1 by gamma into t4 minus t1 divided by t3 minus t2. So substitute the value of t2, t3 and t4 in equation 1. This equation, in this equation, we already know that t4, t4 is equal to t1 or uh, rho raised to gamma and t2, t3 is equal to t1 r raised to gamma minus 1 into rho. Also, T2 is equal to T1 R is to gamma minus 1. So, substitute the value of T1, uh, sorry, T2, T3 and T4 in equation 1. We get theta is equal to, efficiency is equal to 1 minus 1 by uh, rho, uh, gamma into 1 by gamma into T1 rho is to gamma minus T1 divided by T1 R is to gamma minus 1 into rho minus T1 R is to gamma minus 1. This is equal to, theta is equal to 1 minus 1 by r raised to gamma minus 1 multiplied by 1 by r into rho raised to gamma minus 1 divided by rho minus 1. So in this in this equation uh, we can see that the uh, air standard efficiency or simply the efficiency of a diesel cycle is a function of compression ratio and cutoff ratio and also ratio specific gates. Okay. Where uh, rho is the cutoff ratio and R is the compression ratio and gamma is the uh, ratio specific gates. So, uh, so this is the equation for uh, or uh, equation to find out the efficiency of a diesel cycle and problems are uh, problems will ask uh, to find out this efficiency and this equation is very important and please note it down. So that's all for today's lecture and we can discuss and another topic in, in the later sections. Thank you.